Welcome back, any and all, from youngest to oldest alike. We love you, and Father God loves you more. I hope when you got up this morning, you gave Father God honor, you gave him praise, you gave him glory, because you belong to him and only him. Hallelujah. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. Let us get right into prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you this morning to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. A heartfelt thank you. We're so very grateful and thankful. Let us be content where we are. We thank you, Father God, for waking us up to another glorious day that you made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Hallelujah. We have, we woke us up, Father. We could do nothing of our own. We know that. It's all because of you. We can't even breathe on our own. Thank you, Father God, for breathing the breath of life in us. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father God, for our loved ones, our family members, friends, mine and my husband, strangers and enemies. Thank you, Father God, for our neighbors, and we love all our neighbors as we love ourselves and the community. Thank you, Father God, for my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Thank you, Father God, for your daily provisions. Thank you, Father God, for keeping us and not forsaking us. Thank you, Father God, for your undying love. Thank you, Father God, for your holy angels that watch over us day and night, even while we work and play and while we at rest. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, for the remission of our sins, paid in full. Though we know we need to work our own salvation and fear and tremble in the Most High, and we must study to show thyself approved. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, also known as the Comforter, that guides us to all truth. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all to come to the truth, that they give their life to you before it's too late. And if they're giving their life to you and they're falling away for whatever reason, may they repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand and turn from their wicked ways and receive you into their life to be their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. We rebuke the coronavirus. We rebuke all evil that man is making. That is, he can allow himself to be made used for evil to create. We rebuke all evil inventions of all evil inventions. We, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke the blackout. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke the harlot. We rebuke the whore. We rebuke the spirit of perversion. We rebuke the Jezebel spirit. We rebuke all evil that is trying to come up against Father God and up against his children and his world. We rebuke it all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And for all evil that is being made behind the scenes, we thwart it and cast it down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that it do not come forth in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the saints that are truly seeking your face, Father God. That are striving for holiness and holiness only. That is living a life of righteousness. For ye name sake, being bold as lions. Preaching the gospel in season and out. May they have need of nothing. May everything be supplied for them. They be sufficient in everything they need to continue in their ministry. And, and may they have need of nothing. And Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you bless them. So they continue blessing others. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the laws of abortion to be aborted right here, right now. That they don't get to take another innocent baby's life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the safe havens to be built and all the provisions be made for them to be built. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in fact, for them to be speedily built. Hallelujah. Speed up the, the, uh, speed up the workings on them. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for, all, for our leaders, all our leaders and our president. To lean not to their own understanding, but acknowledge you in all thine ways, so you may direct their paths. And may they be obedient and do your will, Father God. And that doesn't just apply to our president and our leaders, it applies to each and every one of us. May we all take heed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father God, for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We know that evil is running rampant and you must do what you must do. We say, do come, Lord Jesus, though no man know the day of the hour except the Father. And as you do what you must do, Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please remember your children. Please have mercy on us, Lord God. Have mercy on your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we know your word will forever stand and will never come back void. On everything you say, Father God, it will come to pass. As you said, Father God, for the treasures that are stored up by the wicked, that they be given to the poor. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And it be given to those who you say for it to go to. We say thank you, Father God, and we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any and all that receive a blessing, because all the things come from on high, they come from you, my Father. Any and all that receive a blessing, may they be obedient and do your will with that blessing, whatever way, shape, form, or fashion, that that blessing come. May they be obedient and do your will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for my family members, loved ones, and friends, my and my husband, my, my children, my grandchildren, the mothers and fathers of my grandchildren. Our neighbors and we love all our neighbors as we love ourselves and the community and the saints all over the world. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus of all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask may you please place a head of protection, not only a head of protection, a firewall of protection around all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. And Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please bless the listeners, bless those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Only you know we have need of, Father God, is your will, your way. Hallelujah. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, as we go through this day, help us to guide our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times. Because he was waiting to pounce, even at the door. But we're not going to let him in. We're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. Without it, no man shall see God. And no man shall make it into the kingdom of heaven. Let us strive for holiness and holiness only. There are absolutely no excuses and there's no compromising whatsoever. Let us stand steadfast on your word. Your word is spirit and truth. It gives life. Your word will feather stand. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you guide us through this day to help us be a reflection of you in any and everything that we do and what we say and including in the marriages. I pray for all the marriages right now. I do because I see what evil's working on. And you know what? He don't prevail. God is in charge no matter what happens. God is in charge. And let us all be mindful. We're not, our fight is not carnal. Our fight is not carnal. So don't fight with people. Don't take the time to fight with people. Love on them. Pray for them. If they just spitefully use them, use you, pray for them. If they're trying to deliberately get at you, just know it's not the person. Go into the spirit. See the spirit behind the person. Don't fight with the person. Hallelujah. God fights our battles anyway. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. We need not fight. If we fight, let us fight the good fight of faith. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father God, help us in everything that we say and do to be a reflection of you. And that includes in our marriage. Let our light so shine in everything that we say and do. Seen and unseen, let our light so shine. Let us show our good works and glorify our Father which are in heaven. Father God, we know you point out your spirit upon all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, say we pray. Father God, we know you point out your spirit upon all flesh. Let us all stand upright at all times. Stand upright. And let us convert them back to Jesus. Point them to Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way to salvation. Open your mouths and don't be ashamed. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believe it. To the Jews first and also to the Greeks. And we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us open our mouths and be bold as lions. Whatever Father God's given you. A dream, a vision, a prophecy, a revelation, an exhortation. Whatever it may be. Open your mouth. Tell somebody. You may save a soul. You've been pulled that soul out of the pits of hell. Open your mouth. Don't be ashamed. You'll be ashamed of the Lord today. You'll be ashamed of your own judgment day in front of his Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, say we pray. Father God, we pray for all men, women, and children. Be holy, courageous men, women, and children of God. We pray for all men to be holy, courageous men of God. Be in the head of the home, head in that family, in the path of righteousness for ye name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. But thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou preparest the table before us in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anoint our head with oil. Thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We cover this video with the blood of Jesus. And we bind all evil spirits and cast them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise thy holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify thy holy name. To God be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every member of our body belong to you and only you, Father God. We say use us for your glory. In your glory alone. Everything I do is for your glory. In your glory alone, my Father. And you're greatly to be praised. And we love you with an everlasting love. And we'll never forsake thee. 
And we seal this prayer to you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, with an holy kiss. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us not stop there. If you haven't given your life to Christ, what are you waiting for? You have the opportunity to do so right here, right now. Have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back. And he's coming back sooner than you think. Don't no man know the day or the hour. Hallelujah. Except the Father. He's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. And if you're ready to do what is right and receive Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior, then please say this prayer. And don't just say it. You mean it from your heart. That you're going to seek him in sincerity and truth with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Then please say this prayer. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross. And shed your holy sinless blood. And was risen from the dead. Three days later. After being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life. Live a life of holiness. A life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now please repent. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. And you're not to sin on purpose. And you ought to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you in your walk with Christ. And remember this. It is not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God. A commitment and love. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you. Welcome my new brother and sister to the body of Christ. May we edify one another. Pray with and pray for one another. Pray without ceasing. Fast. Bear one another's burdens. Give love and charity. Because they cover a multitude of sin. Congratulations. And God bless you, my new brother and sister, the body of Christ. We love you. And Father God loves you more. God bless you. Message to each and every one of us. Please pick up your Bible. I don't care what... I don't care where this Bible is. I don't care if it's dust in the bottom of the... Dust basket. You pick that Bible up. You dust it off, and you pick that, and you begin to read that Bible. Each and every one of us need to read the Bible and learn it for ourselves. Speak. The Father will speak to you, but you can hear from Him if you're not even reading His Word. His Word is Spirit and Truth, and it gives life. His words. Uh, his this Bible is the order of the steps of our life. That's what it is. Is the it's to govern our lives. How we're supposed to live. How are we supposed to hear from? We hear from him when we read the Bible. You need to have a personal relationship with the Father. He loves us all. He don't love one over the other. He has no respect to a person. And he'll love you and meet you where you are. Nobody has to tell you you have to be perfect because none of us is perfect. We all have fallen short of the glory. Please give your life to Christ. He gave his only begotten son so you can have life. Not just have life, have it more abundantly. But it's not a do as thou will. No. He has standards. Father God has standards. Please seek the Lord while you have time. Go down on your knees in prayer and seek his face. Cry out to him. You'll hear from him. God bless you. Congratulations. And with that being said, I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. We're going to do scripture today. We do scripture every day. We're just not going to do our regular reading today. We'll just do scripture. Hallelujah. We'll continue our regular reading tomorrow. Today, Father God has given me Isaiah. Chapters 40 and 41, and we shall read them. Hallelujah. 
chapter 40, Isaiah. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry out unto her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Hallelujah. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out heaven with a span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance. Who hath directed the Spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, hath taught him? With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and shewed to him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom then will ye liken God, or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melted a graven image, and the goldsmith spread it over with gold, and cast it silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk 
and not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 41. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made him rule over kings. He gave them as a dust to his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them, and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first and with the last, I am he. The isles saw it and feared. The ends of the earth were afraid, drew near and came. They helped every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smoothed with the hammer, him that smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seeketh water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers and high places, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shittar tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the fir tree, and the pine, and the box tree together that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth, and shew us what shall happen. Let them shew the former things, what they be, that they may consider them, and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. Shew the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. I have raised you up. I have raised up one. Excuse me. I have raised, excuse me, Lord God. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come. From the rising of the sun shall he call upon my name, and he shall come upon princes, as upon mortar, and as the potter treadeth clay, who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say, He is righteous, yea, there is none that sheweth, yea, there is none that declareth, yea, there is none that heareth your words. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. For I beheld, and there was no man, even among them, and there was no counselor, that when I asked of them, could answer a word. Behold, they are all vanity, their works are nothing, 
Their molten images are wind and confusion. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we'll be on our regular reading after our scripture and our prayers. We'll be on our regular reading. We'll be on chapter 22 of uh, the first Colossians or first Chronicles. Excuse me. First Chronicles will be on chapter 22. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow. And do as the Lord said. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Tell your loved ones that you love them. Tell them about Father God. Any and all that will hear you, shout upon the rooftops. I don't care. Tell them about Father God, who is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Father God is a Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit came down in that begotten body. That same Holy Spirit dwells within you and I, each and every one of us. If we seek Him in sincerity and truth, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, you should hear from Him. You need to have a personal relationship with the Father. Okay? Not let somebody tell you what the Bible says. Don't let somebody read it to you. You hear from the Father. Open that Bible and read it for yourself. And cry out to Him. And uh, don't have aught with anyone. Don't have problems. Yes, we all go through things. We're going to have issues. Because, you know, when you're serving the Lord thy God, evil going to use whoever he needs to come up against you. That is a given. But you know what? Remember, our fight is not carnal. See beyond the person. Go into the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Don't have aught with anyone. You must make it up. You must forgive them. And you must move forward. And if you have aught with anyone, please repent. Everybody must repent. Repent daily. Because there are things that we're doing that we're not even aware sometimes. Sometimes it's our attitude. Sometimes it's unforgiveness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, please remove the spirit of unforgiveness from each and every one of our hearts and burning, Father God. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so we don't receive it again. And please fill us, Father God, with your Holy Spirit so that we love with unconditional love as you love us. Let us love upon, pour love upon one another. We love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. From youngest to oldest alike, we love you all, and Father God loves you more. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Amen.